This Lego garden is actually one of my personal favorite gardens, but I'd made a quick video about it and it has performed worse than any other video I ever made. I thought it deserved a second chance, so I'm bringing it back for my cyberpunk themed office garden. I wanna show you guys how I made this wick garden out of simply Legos and some food grade resin. I had the idea to start building hydroponic gardens out of Legos. And for the first one, I wanted to start small, so I wanted to do some kind of microgreen garden. The concept here is to have like a paper towel at the very top with a wick laying down, and then the wick is going all the way down into the bottom where there's a reservoir of water. With that in mind, I started the build. Started with the reservoir at the bottom and built it out to look kind of like a flower. As it turns out, if you're more into Minecraft than Lego, this is still applicable. Then once we get it all built out and we're happy with the design, we're gonna dump food grade epoxy resin down the top of the flower. We want this resin to coat the entire inside of the garden and the top where any water is gonna to touch. This is gonna make it food grade. It's also gonna make it leak proof. So we wanna allow the resin to go all the way down into the bottom chamber and coat the inside of the bottom chamber, making sure that that's not gonna leak and that's not gonna contaminate any of the food. Then we're gonna insert our wick into the top of the garden and you're gonna to wanna to leave about an inch at the top and lay that down and then lay the paper towel over top of that. And then for the first few days, I recommend watering your seeds from the top by spraying them. Once the seeds germinate though, and you start to notice they've sprouted, you don't have to do anything at that point. You can just step back and then enjoy your harvest. And this particular harvest for me was radish. I really like the nice spicy bite that radish gives. But next I think I'm gonna do broccoli and then alfalfa, because I really am a big fan of alfalfa sprouts and broccoli microgreens. So make sure you're subscribed, tune in for that. And if you wanna take all this stuff to the next level, then check out the School of Hydroponics. I'll have it linked up in the description box below. It's a full, huge, comprehensive course that I've put together to walk you through everything you're gonna to need to know to build out your own indoor hydroponic garden. So check that all out in the links down below, as well as all the free guides and materials that I have over at HumbleGrowthHydroponics.com. And until next time, let's grow together.